What happened? I waited. I waited what? to see if you were done. <laughs> and the moment I took off your diaper, you pooped on me. No. What's up, Lesby fam? Hi, Lesby fam. Ooh, my oh my gosh. Shit. Whoops. <laughs> so we're starting an eight week challenge. Um, as you all know that I've been really into fitness for a really long time. Um, Dina, not so much, but it's all good. Uh, we're doing an eight week challenge. Um, with our family actually and we wanted to include you guys in on the journey yeah as uh, you know I started my fitness journey a year before uh, trying to conceive this one and um, it was fun I've tried many different things I did boot camps I did I did try car CrossFit um, I uh, did a lot of uh, cardio stuff I, on my own on my own I went to Planet Fitness every morning so it's not you know new to me it's just getting back in the routine after having a baby as most of you moms may know it is not easy uh, losing the weight losing the excess weight I've always been um, pretty heavy um, but now it's a lot more and it's just it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel right so um if yeah. you followed our journey um before or when dina got pregnant we pretty much ate everything and anything just like in any pregnancy you get cravings you're eating for two and uh if you're a partner of someone that's pregnant or um a dad and a mom whatever it doesn't matter uh, you pretty much eat with them. So I feel like up until the point where we found out that, DA, uh, that Dina got um, diagnosed with gestational diabetes, we were eating horrible and we gained a ton of weight. Um, more so me, I feel, than Dina. Dina didn't really gain that much weight in her pregnancy. Not during pregnancy. Um, but, but, you know, and then after these last two months, I feel like, you know, you're just sleep deprived with your kid. You're not eating the best because whatever's quick and we'll get the job done so we were eating a lot of fast food um you know a lot of microwavable food we weren't cooking very much just because it's so hard you know and then working out didn't really happen too much just because like i said you're not sleeping you're not eating good your energy's low you know you're just but we are going to do two different diets yeah. and we are going to share those dina's going to go more of the keto route she's going to try to cut out um carbs and sugars um I am going to go with if it fits your macros, which is pretty much, um, it's not as strict of a diet, but I do need to eat the carbs and stuff just to fuel my day. Um, and because my workout's a little bit different than hers. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to share our workouts with you. Um, right now I'm following something called street parking. It's, um, in my opinion, like one of the best, um, workout programs out there for people that don't have a lot of time for people that are parents for people that are busy have busy work schedules um it's basically all you need is about 30 30 minutes to be honest you know five minutes to stretch and they usually, the workouts are usually 15 to 20 minutes and they really cater to the person they target um pregnant women and they target postpartum women um and then also you know just your average joe's trying to get a workout in every day so we're going to be doing that program and we're going to be working out together and videoing the workouts to share with you guys so that's where we're going to share our eight week journey with you she pooped on you oh my look at this oh, oh my god when did that even happen <laughs> okay 
Chiquita. Uh, oh my god, Chiquita. this is a new tank top Santana. Why did you do that, Mama? Holy up. Oh my, that is a full on. Did you even hear a fart? No, I mm -hmm. didn't feel her poo or nothing. <laughs> you pooed that, Mommy. Oh my. You pooed that, Mommy. No. What are we gonna do? Alright, ladies and gents, gents and ladies. Today's workout is as follows. Use an app called Wattify. And this is our street parking, gives us our programming. So today we're gonna do an AM wrap. 10 minutes, 10 dumbbell shouldered overhead, 7 dumbbell facing burpees. Now, because Dina is just recovering from her pregnancy, she's going to do the shift version of this, which is a little bit, um, I can't say easier, because it's not necessarily easier, but um, this is what it is. Seven dumbbell or kettlebell shoulder press and four burpees, 10 minutes AMRAP. So it's just a different version of the workout. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should warm up, huh? Yeah. Let's warm up. One hour later. So we just got done with the workout. Um, I didn't go too crazy because um, as most women who had a C-section or who even just had vaginal birth, um, you know, your, your muscles aren't closed yet. And I don't want to go ham. So I'm taking it easy. But I wanted to show you this, which um, they have a little sauna in here. And it's... Oh my God, it feels so good in here. So we're gonna sit here and relax in the sauna for a bit. Woo! Yeah, it's hella hot. Damn, shorty, we about to get Just the, it's just 
not, it's not just the moms that go through uh, labor and delivery because a lot of uh, moms, the partners out there, or even dads, you you gain weight, sympathy, sympathy weight, weight, right? Yeah. And yeah, it's not right. what you're used to. Your your activity level goes down, you know, and it's it's a little bit of the depression, the postpartum depression that the moms that go through labor. It's it's like that. It's very similar. It's not any different. So even though like I may have not have gained as much weight as Dina, I don't have like the stretch marks or whatever the case may be. I still this is the heaviest and the softest I've ever been in my life, and the the <laughs> least active I've ever been in my life. Like, it's a push every day for me to go to the gym. Whereas before, it was like my day wasn't complete. That, I that was her gym. life. Seriously, when I met Erica, you know, gym. You know, she was into. Uh, she was doing CrossFit at the time, like heavy, and like she was going to CrossFit almost twice a day, five days a week. It was pretty intense. Like yeah. her, she needed it. She physically needed it. It was like an addiction to her, it was, and it's a good addiction to have. Um, and I've never been that way. I've I've always been. Um, I, I think I've shared this before. Like I've always been pretty heavy set, um, and I guess somewhat curvy. Um, but um, but yeah, no. I I want to you know share all the meals that we're eating. Um, this is a real life struggle to get back to to being healthy again. It's it takes a lot. It yeah. takes a lot of encouragement and support. For both of us but I, I know for me as um as had I not have this support like Erica like I'd be at home still like dude you guys don't even know like as you know I had the gestational diabetes since I've given birth I have been eating sweets like cake cupcakes puddings everything like all almost all day every day since I've had Santana and it's like this urge of sweetness that I really really crave and so I'm, I'm completely cutting that out um, and that's gonna be really really hard for me like it really is I almost want to cry about it so this is for you and me to do together especially if you look like me and you want to lose this like let's do it together I got you girl like, or if you are me. on your healthy tip and you've already gone through this and you want to send some advice oh yeah way, absolutely I will take all way. kinds of advice I'll take all kinds of recipes like yeah, please send them. definitely we, I mean you get so accustomed to living a different lifestyle and we, we've gotten accustomed to that to just eating crap and not being active and you know just Drinking, that's yeah. the big thing, is drinking. You know, it's so hard for us to, I mean, it's summertime, you know, everyone wants to throw barbecues and have the beers out and stuff. And, you know, we, have, we haven't, we have we've been open about it. We like to drink or whatever, but when you're trying to get right and get tight, <laughs> you can't do that. All right, I'm about to pass out, I need to eat. Okay. And I haven't eaten. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're going with an egg scramble here. We got some ham. And tomatoes and a little bit of cilantro and some eggs cheese and butter over there we got a little mama feeding <laughs> some cilantro I'm just gonna make a little egg scramble post workout meal one much for watching um, that was part of some workout that we did um, Erica got sick all soon after that clip of us working out Erica got really sick and um, it knocked her out for like maybe four days um, yeah almost a whole week so Erica didn't work out which means that I didn't work out <laughs> I like to work out with her. I really do enjoy working out together. It really gets me motivated. So I love working out with my wife. And uh, we're gonna start all over again, but that's part of uh, basically how it's gonna go. And um, yeah. we haven't been eating completely unhealthy. We did go grocery shopping, so yeah. a lot of our food was healthy. Mm -hmm. um, we just didn't really do any kind of workouts because I was sick. So um, we are, I'm down. Um, about seven pounds and I'm eating at like 131 uh, this morning so I'm doing okay considering I haven't been working out 
and I'm down three pounds. <laughs> so we're getting there. Um, this is gonna be pretty much week one for us because of our setback, but um, we hope you're enjoying what we have so far. Thank you for watching. Comment, please subscribe to our channel. Um, let us know if you've had any success on any certain diets or workouts, or if you just enjoy watching our journey. We appreciate you watching. All right, my baby Santella. Did you throw up? See you on the next video. Golly. Unbelievable. If it's not poop, it's throw up. Throw up. Peace. Bye.